bring back in our guest for the first part of this morning and bring in uh, William Nabarro once again. He's from uh, BMP Paribas Exane and uh, he's the head of uh, European Equity. So, uh, William, before we went to break, uh, you said that there are definite buying opportunities in European equities with these declines, but let's talk about ones that you would stay away from and sectors that you don't like are banks and automakers. No, exactly. For the time being, it's definitely not the sector you want to be in. Um, we, we, we effectively believe that the banks, we, we, uh, although we, we, we don't see the, the very big problems we have seen in the past, in the, la in, in the last uh, few years, in the banks, they are less. However, we are not out of the doldrums yet. Uh, we also see, of course, that there is less uh, demand for, uh, for, 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 for credit. So it is definitely not helping the banks as well. Um, of course, at the same time, we see that uh, banks are being asked not to take up less uh, risk as well. Uh, if we look at the most of the banks, especially, uh, say, the investment banks, most of their uh, profits came to trading, of course, and we see that, there is, that that will definitely be less as well. Um, that's also why at this moment of stage we are definitely not positive, uh, we continue not to be positive on the banks. Um, if anything, uh, and you want to go into the banks, we would be looking at the more solid banks, uh, some more defensive banks. We would be looking at the moment of stage, for example, at a bank like Credit Agricole, uh, which we think is one of the better picks in the banking sector. If you want to be looking uh, anyway into the investment banks, we will be looking at Deutsche Bank at that moment of stage. Uh, but those are, say, uh, some of the rare picks we have in the uh, in that sector um, if we look in the automobile sector effectively we prefer to stay far away for the time being consumption consumption is definitely not there yet uh, mm -hmm. for either the the, the, the high-end or uh, the, the mass market so that's also why we're saying it's probably not the time of not the, not the time yet to go into the uh, into the cyclicals but definitely not into the automobile sector Okay, so William, what does that mean? Are you saying short these sectors? Is there more room to short? Um, I would not go too short at this moment of stage because mm -hmm. effectively they have been uh, they, they, they have been going up, but uh, we do not we do not believe that they will fall tremendously. To be honest with you. Um, we have had the very big falls before. At this moment of stage, uh, it's probably better not to put, no, no, not to commit any money to, to those two sectors. Uh, if you want to co commit money to those two sectors and you want to short them or uh, effectively uh, buy them, you have to be very very specific. You have to go for for the certain for certain names, uh, and you have to have a very strong conviction effectively that you can short those names. Okay, so if you don't think these uh, two sectors, which you don't like, is going to fall that much further, what does that mean for the broader market then? Do you expect this correction to pretty much uh, be over uh, pretty soon? Not much more from here? No, we will definitely see some, so some further downfalls. I will, I'm not surprised because there is too much uncertainty in the market. Effectively, like I said before as well, the politicians have been giving uh, non-supportive messages and contradicting messages as well. Uh, this is definitely, of course, uh, not helping the, the markets in, in, in general. Um, and that's also why I will not be surprised if we get remain with, with, a lot some, uh, with quite some volatility in the short time. We will not be surprised if we're going to see markets fall further as well uh, before effectively markets will uh, bounce back. But again, yeah, okay. uh, so, so William, come on, put a number to, to this. Buy. How much further will the markets fall then? Some are saying 10, 15 percent. Is that pretty much consensus with you? Uh, well, I, I'm not going to tell you that the market's going to fall mm -hmm. 10 to 15 percent. If the market falls another 5 percent, I think we're going to really go getting into very, very interesting buying levels at that moment of stage. But again, look at the very, very strong sectors, like I mentioned before. All right, and those include the defensive plays, as you said, uh, the telecoms look pretty good, so does the energy sector, and also the uh, pharmaceuticals with pretty good cash flow, but you're saying avoid Roche because it's an overplayed stock, right? Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm definitely not saying avoid it, but effectively, the, the, only, the, only, the, only, the only small negative point I can see on, on Roche, for the rest, it's a fantastic company, it's very well run, is that all the analysts around the world are positive on, on Roche. So that's the only, only slight negative point I can see on Roche. For the rest, it's just a fantastic company, it's, it's doing very well, uh, it's, <clears throat> it's a very good uh, solid investment for your portfolio. But mm -hmm. the moment figures come out from Roche, like any other company which uh, will have all the analysts around the world positive on it, you may see some profit taking kicking in. Another sector I will oh. be looking at is the semiconductors, uh, which is, uh, gives you a very, very good indication where the market will go to in the, in the future. And if you look at companies like Infineon, ST Microelectronics or ASML, th those will definitely be picks I would be putting some money in as well. 
Okay, William, thank you so much for your time today. That's uh, William Mark Nabarro of uh, BNP Paribas, Exane.